What's up, YouTube? It's Ting here. Um, sorry, I haven't updated a video in a while. My dad was here visiting for almost three weeks, so it was hard to make videos and upload them and whatever. It was just hard to get away, I guess. Um, it was his visit was good overall. Um, right before he came here my mom had told him that I wanted to transition well about my transition I guess and he didn't say anything to her and I thought maybe when he came here he would say something to me or just comment about uh, my hair or how I'm dressed I guess so but he didn't two three weeks later he didn't say anything about anything he didn't even ask um because i had told him that i was gonna go see a doctor aka therapist and he didn't even ask what it was for um so i think he's just really afraid of asking and knowing what's going on with his own child um could be worse, right? I mean, he could be beating me up and... I don't know, rejecting me, God knows what. I mean, he is sort of rejecting this part of me, me, I guess, in a way, by not acknowledging the fact that this is happening. Um, so I did thought about bringing it up while he was here, but I... I guess I chickened out and I was really afraid to not afraid but I was just really angry that he didn't say anything he didn't mention anything so I think the anger and the chickening out took over so I just didn't bring I just didn't say anything um so my plan is to write him an email explaining um, maybe ex maybe explaining dysphoria and why this is happening and how he's not to blame. My mom's not to blame. Nobody's to blame. Um, and tell him, telling him about surgery because my goal for surgery now is March. And here in Quebec, it's covered by insurance if you do it with the surgeon here, Dr. Belanger. Um... But I think I want to go to Florida to go with Dr. Garamoni. Um, just because results-wise, I think he's a lot better. And I feel like he's more experienced. And I want my chest to look good, I guess. Um, I mean, I'm sure Dr. Benanger is great and she's, you know fine but yeah anyways but then there's the issue with cost and obviously I can't afford six thousand dollars plus the trip and expenses and you know if my mom comes with me or my girlfriend comes with me like yeah so in the email I'm hoping to ask my dad for money also as a loan, of course, I'll pay him back. Um, yeah. Anyways, so we'll see how that goes. Um, in other news, um, I've been kind of having problems, or well, not problems, just trouble with male code, I guess. Like how to act among guys. Um, because here, like in Quebec or Montreal or French culture, I'm not sure which one comes first. Um, when you meet someone for the first time or when you re-see someone, um, you kind of, you give two kisses on the cheeks, right? So one, two. Um, so with girls, like I'm super comfortable giving them kisses and, well, no, that's a lie. I'm not comfortable giving kisses in general just because I feel like it's, I don't know, I'm just more of like a wave from far kind of guy, um, 
which makes me really awkward, but I still do it. Um, anyways, so I feel like I feel okay giving kisses to girls because, you know, that's how it, it, it's, it's okay. Like, socially, it's okay. Um, so now that a lot of the, some of the guys don't know that I'm transitioning, even though I look like this, <laughs> um, they still lean in to give me two kisses, right? So I have trouble trying to avoid the two kisses and try to go for a hug or just like a bro shake, whatever, I'm not sure. Um, but most of the time, eventually, most of the time I just kind of give in, give in and give two kisses because I'm not out to them. And usually it's like guys that I'm not super close with. It's just friends of friends you know and um like it, I always meet them at parties and people are drinking and it's just not the right time to be like hey dude I'm a dude so we should probably just you know high five or like pound it or chest bump it or something um so I just find it hard to kind of like avoid the kiss and you know it's not like or Italian, or like Arabs, you know, like it's socially, it's viewed as okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't really care giving kisses to guys, I guess, but to fit in and to try to pass as a guy, like, it's really rare. It rarely happens that two guys give each other kisses on the cheeks. Unless they're gay. So. <sighs> Anyways. So I'm going to try to learn how to. Bro shake these people. Um, I'm not sure how. Um, so this video is 7 minutes. I don't know how I got there. Talk for so long. Um, thank you for watching. I'm sorry again. I haven't updated in a while. Please subscribe. Write me. Um, yeah, I'll be back soon. Thank you.